Now time for story time with Miss Carolyn. Good morning, everyone. Let's do our happy song this morning. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Just don't eat it all at the same time. Okay. Look at our new little friend. Isn't he cute? Can you see him? Huh? His name is Beagle. And he's so soft and cuddly. Look here. And the book says, the Adventures of Beagle, the Unimaginary Friend. And it's written by Dan Sandpat. Okay. Let's see. Let me see. Beagle. Sit right there beside of his new friend. This book is a donation. We think Kyla brought it, but we're not positive. Mr. Tim can't remember. And it's published by the Little Brown and Company. Beagle, the unimaginary friend. Oh, these are pretty pictures. Said he was born on an island far away where imaginary friends were created. Here they lived and played, each eagerly awaiting to be imagined by a real child. Ooh. Every night he stood under the stars, hoping for his turn to be picked by a child and given a special name. He waited for many nights. Oh, look at him. And there's a cat. He's getting picked. But his turn never came. Poor Beagle. His 
mind filled with thoughts of all the amazing things that were keeping his friend from imagining him. So, rather than waiting, he did the unimaginable. <gasps> Beagle? What a brave little fellow he was. He sailed through unknown waters and faced many scary things. <gasps> What's that is it facing? Ooh, it's a big whale. But thinking about his friend gave him the courage to journey on until he reached the real world. <gasps> Whoa, look at that big city he made it to. The real world was a strange place. No kids were eating cake. No one stopped to hear the music. And everyone needed nap time. Oh. Then he finally saw something familiar. So he followed. He had a good feeling about this place, but he looked everywhere, and he could not find his friend. Oh, was he looking? It looks to me like he's in some kind of park. He climbed to the top of a tree, and he looked out, wishing and hoping his friend would come. But no one came. He thought about how far he had come and how long he had waited, and he felt very sad. Then he heard a noise below, and it's going, Hello! He's climbing down. Her face was friendly and familiar, and there was something about her that just felt right. At first, they weren't sure what to do. And neither of them had made a friend before. But, after a little while, they realized they were perfect together. Oh, look. He's giving him a big hug. Let me give him a big hug. Beagle, you're sweet. Oh, sit up. Beagle and her name was Alice. Beagle and Alice had many new adventures. They shared their snacks. They told funny jokes. Oh, the world began to feel a little less strange. There she is with Beagle. And together, they did the unimaginable. Wonder what that was. Oh, look, Beagle, Beagle. Look, you and Alice, you went off on adventures together. <gasps> Yay, tell a bye. Bye-bye. The end. So this is a book we haven't even had a chance to put in the system yet, but we will get it there and you can check it out. It's The Adventures of Beagle, The Unimaginary Friend. And Beagle is super soft.